still not sure when today I'm going to read the 10th anniversary edition of the Blue Day book over 10 million sold worldwide a lesson in cheering yourself up by Bradley T Trevor Grieve Ten years after its first printing, Bradley Trevor Greaves' global bestseller, The Blue Day Book, has become a modern classic that brings smiles to readers around the world. And because we all still have bad days now and then, the time is right for a commemorative 10th anniversary edition featuring illustrated end papers, hand coloured photo enhancements, and a new forward. This wonderful collection of amusing, poignant animal photos and inspirational text is designed to lift the spirits of anyone who's got the blues. No one who has lips will be able to read it without smiling, it's guaranteed. We all have our bad days, they're, in, they're an intrinsic part of being human. The solution is to see each incident in perspective Recognise that our feelings of failure and loss are, are not unique. Acknowledge the absurdities of our existence and glory in the potential that we all have. In fewer than 100 sentences, the Blue Day book conveys this message with great compassion and humour, taking us through the entire evolution of a Blue Day. What it feels like, what causes it, how to get over it. The Blue Day book has sold more than 2.5 million copies in the United States alone and over 10 million in 115 countries worldwide. To my wonderful parents, Faye and Trevor Grieve, who never stopped taking me out to see the world, even after I was bitten by penguins three times. I'm not going to read the foreword, but I'll leave it if you want to have a pause. You can have a read if you wish. Everybody has blue days. These are miserable days when you feel lousy, grumpy, lonely, and utterly exhausted. Days when you feel small and insignificant and everything just seems just out of reach you can't rise to the occasion just getting started seems impossible on blue days you can become paranoid that everyone is out to get you. This is not always such a bad thing. You feel frustrated and anxious. <coughs> which can induce a nail-biting frenzy. That can escalate into a triple chocolate mud cake eating frenzy in the blink of an eye. Blue days, you feel like you're floating in an ocean of sadness. You're about to burst into tears at any moment and you don't know why. Ultimately, you feel like you're wandering through life without purpose. You're not sure how much longer you can hang on. And you 
you feel like shouting, oh someone please shoot me. It doesn't take much to bring on a blue day. You might just wake up not feeling or looking your best. Find some new wrinkles. Put on a little weight or get a huge pimple on your nose. You could forget your date's name or have an embarrassing photo published. You might get dumped, divorced or fired. Make a fool of yourself in public. Be afflicted with a demeaning nickname. Or just plain, or just have a plain old bad hair day. Maybe work is a pain in the bum. You're under serious pressure to fill someone else's shoes. Your boss is picking on you and everyone in the office is driving you mad. You may have a splitting headache or a slipped disc. Bad breath. A toothache. Chronic gas. Dry lips. Or a nasty and grown toenail. Whatever the reason, you're convinced that someone up there doesn't like you. Oh, what to do? What to do? Well, if you're like most people, you'll head out behind a flimsy belief that everything will sort itself out. Then you'll spend the rest of your life looking over your shoulder, waiting for everything to go wrong all over again. All the while becoming crusty and cynical. Or a pathetic, snivelling victim. Until you get so depressed that you lie down and beg the earth to swallow you up. Or even worse, become addicted to Billy Joel songs. This is crazy, because you're only young ones. And you're never old twice. Who knows what fantastic things there are in store just around the corner. After all, the world is full of amazing discoveries and things you just can't even imagine right now. There are delicious, happy sniffs and scrumptious snacks to share. Hey, you may end up fabulously rich or even become a huge superstar one day. Sounds good, doesn't it? But wait, there's more. There are handstands and games to play. And yoga and karaoke. 
and wild, crazy, bohemian dancing. But best of all, there's romance. Which means long, dreamy stares. Whispering sweet nothings. Cuddles. Smitches. More smitches. Even more smitches. A frisky love bite or two. And then, well, anything goes. So how can you find that blissful, just sliding into a hot bubble bath kind of feeling? It's easy. First, stop slinking away from all those nagging issues. It's time to face the music. Now, just relax. Take some deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. Try to meditate if you can. Or go for a walk to clear your head. Accept the fact that you'll have to let go of some emotional baggage. Try seeing things from a different perspective. Maybe you're actually the one at fault. If that's the case, be big enough to say you're sorry. It's never too late to do this. If someone else is doing the wrong thing, Stand up tall and say, that's not right and I won't stand for it. It's okay to be forceful. It's rarely okay to blow raspberries. Be proud of who you are. But don't lose the ability to laugh. This is a lot easier when you associate with positive people. Live every day as if it were your last, because one day it will be. Don't be afraid to bite off more than you can chew. Take big risks. Never hang back. Get out there and go for it. After all, isn't that what life is all about? I think so too. is the author, Bradley Trevor Grief. Since the debut of his bestseller, The Blue Day Book, Bradley Trevor Grief has become an international publishing sensation. His books have sold more than 20 million copies in 115 countries. A former Australian paratrooper, BTG left the army to pursue creative misadventure between qualifying as a cosmonaut for the Russian space program and writing books. BTG seeks out wildlife and wild places and has even been kissed by a walrus. However, he has also been bitten by penguins, bear cubs, rabid monkeys and giant bats. To add insult to injury, he was slapped in the face by a, a sea turtle, suffers greatly from cat allergies, and was always, almost killed by a guinea pig. He spends most of his time in a tiny Tasmanian hamlet with his three great dames. 
Sounds like a fun life. Was it with a book? 